Um, something I always like to note too, you know, for the athletes that are listening in and they are interested in using spices and they're not using premier quality or premier verified spices, that aflatoxin and aflatoxin B1 does have activity to actually um, reduce the efficiency of electron trans the electron transport chain, right? So that actually decreases the efficiency of ATP production Correct. in the body, which then that means that you're ultimately not having enough energy to actually engage in the activity yes. that you're looking to do, right? And I think, you know, when we're talking about fitness, right, and when we're talking about defining how athletes can perform better or how somebody can perform better in life, we have to have a conversation around the synthesis of ATP and how efficiently the body is producing that, right? And uh, we talk about this, uh, we did a webinar last night talking about the biochemical balancing effect of the body and how you can really nourish each cell to have that efficient ATP production. But that includes, you know, the removal of any adulterants or biotoxins that could be impeding some of these crucial mechanisms for the synthesis of energy oh, in absolutely. the body. And, and when you think about it, the aflatoxins, not only are they, I mean, they're, they're essentially mitochondrial toxins, and they're also very specific to the liver. So not only are they affecting the you know, electron transport chain and the, the production of energy, but for those who are athletes, those who are putting their body through the paces, so to speak, Think of the amount of elimination the body has to do to eliminate the buildup of reactive oxygen species that are formed and waste byproducts from the breakdown of tissues. Catab catabolysis is going to produce a lot of waste products. How can you effectively eliminate those if your liver is being damaged? Yeah. And so what ends up happening is a high load of these toxins in someone like an athlete, you think it, that's that's going to actually create even a worse situation for them, you know, because they're going to have a higher burden than on the liver because it's no longer going to be functioning at its peak capacity. I will say this. I'm 40 years old. I can still run five minute miles. I can still bench press well, well over my, my body weight and I still deadlift almost three X body weight at 40 years old. That's I think that's pretty good. I noticed a distinct increase in all of my, what I will call my basic fitness parameters. Once I stopped taking the mass produced dietary supplements and really the sports performance supplements that are on the market.